Hey YouTube, and on today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Nintendo 3DS collection. Uh, so 3DS is pretty interesting to collect for in my opinion because it's the only, uh, it's the only like, Nintendo handheld that I own all my games completing the box for. So, uh, you know, it, the 3DS holds like a really special place in my heart. It was one of the first... I think the first uh, video game console that I ever got and actually like bought a bulk of the games with my own money and everything. Uh, so yeah, 3DS is very special to me. Uh, I have about 30 or so games for it, so yeah, so let's just get this started. First up we have Adventure Time, Explore the Dungeon because I don't know. This is a dungeon crawler. Um, it's okay, it's nothing fantastic, but, uh, it's super cheap, that's the one thing, that game is really, really cheap. Mario Kart 7, uh, this is probably my favorite Mario Kart, granted I, I've never gotten very familiar with, like, Mario Kart 8 or anything, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I just really like this game, I, I put a ton of time in, into it when I was in high school. Uh, next up we have Bust a Move Universe. So this was a launch game for the 3DS, and I'm sorry, I know my uh, heater's going off. This thing just goes off every like minute because uh, basically where I live right now it's really cold. So I'm sorry about that, but yeah. Uh, Bust Move Universe though, this is a launch game for the 3DS. I had this actually because I got my 3DS a couple months, like the Christmas after launch and everything, and. Uh, I, I really liked it. I just ended up selling it, you know, I was like in high school. Uh, and then Square put this on sale because Square published this, so they put it on sale for like five bucks on their website. I was like, yeah, heck yeah, I'll buy that again. Uh, and I just haven't gotten around to playing it yet. Factory Sealed. Uh, here's another one I haven't gotten around to playing yet. Pilot Wings Resort. Uh, one of my underlying goals with the 3DS is I want every launch game. And uh, I really, actually, I really love Pilot Wings, and I've always wanted to play this. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, yeah. Then we have Etrian Mystery uh, Mystery Dungeon. Uh, weird thing. I I've only ever played the demo for one Etrian Odyssey game, and I think it was the fourth one. And I didn't like it because it had so much grinding in it. Like, like you know, it's like, it's not very good, in my opinion, to just include a ton of grinding in your demo. But I got this for, like, super cheap, like, 15 bucks one day. And I figured, why not? I'll check this out. And, uh, this is actually a really solid, uh, mystery dungeon-style game. I didn't beat it, but, uh, I got, like, halfway through it. Uh, definitely, definitely surprised me. Boulder Dash XL. Uh, this is more or less just like a, a, like, just Boulder Dash, like, I know, I know, that game name sounds super fake, but it was like a, uh, if I remember correctly, an Amiga game, uh, from like the 1980s and everything, this is more or less like that, but with modern, updated visuals and everything, it's actually really fun, uh, it just has like a lot of trappings of like, 80s video game design. River City, Tokyo Rumble. Um, so this is a beat em up and everything. My only, my only real like issue with this is that it uses the whole, it uses here we go. This is perfect. Yeah, it uses like eight bit, eight bit sprites and everything. I'm just not really a fan of it. This is a continuation of like the River City Rumble series. So if you're into that, you might want to check this one out. Uh, I did like it. It is actually a very fun game. Uh, I just don't really care for the aesthetic very much. Uh, Sega 3D Classics Collection. Uh, I don't know why I bought this, honestly, enough. Like, uh, so if you take a look at the games here, uh, it's like Galaxy Force, Fantasy Zone 2, Sonic the Hedgehog, like, basically enough any, like, almost every sub. Uh, Sega game you're finding on like a Sega collection. 
Uh, and I bought this like day of launch. I don't know why I bought this day of launch. Like, I think about this all the time. This has to be one of those games that like I regret buying the most. Crush 3D. This is a really great. It's like a platformer, but not. Uh, it's a puzzle game. Like that's the thing. It's, it's a straight puzzle game, uh, but it's a. It's like a weird mix between like a puzzle game. There's like I don't think there's jumping in it, but there always like it always feels like there should be jumping in this game. Uh, but this is actually like a really great game. I really recommend it. Uh, super cheap too. Let's see, Samurai Warriors Chronicles. This was again a launch game on the 3DS. Um, not really spectacular. You know, kind of just a Luso game. You know, uh, Dynasty Warriors, things like that. The the one thing that's like insane with this game though is it comes with like a super thick manual, like 50 pages. My like, gosh, absolute insanity. Gem Smashers. Uh, I don't remember anything about this. I know it's a puzzle game, or some type of puzzle game, and I know I've played it. I don't remember anything about it though. Uh, yeah. Kirby Triple Deluxe. This is probably, this will probably be the last Kirby game that I ever actually enjoy. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know, I really kind of dislike Kirby now. Like, it's mostly because of this weird fan base that's developed around Kirby recently, where, like, they just praise Kirby, even though, like, Almost every Kirby game is the same. Like, literally, the last, like, five Kirby games have been the same, just, like, kind of different gimmicks. Um, but I did enjoy that game. Here we have Thea to Rhythm, Final Fantasy Curtain Call. Uh, there was an original version of this, but this is basically not, uh, just the original, but with way more songs and everything. And, uh, this is a fantastic music rhythm game. Uh, like... God, I love this game and everything. I love the concept. Uh, I'm really horrible at, like, rhythm-based music games, and uh, this is one of the ones that, like, even I really enjoy, despite being really bad at it. Uh, yeah, it's just really great game. Really love Theater Rhythm. I wish Square would make, like, a new one. Shifting World. Uh, shift happens. Basically enough, like, uh, it's a puzzle game two-dimensional puzzle game where you're jumping around and you're making yourself get to one side of the goal. Um, it's not bad. It, it's a really cheap game and everything. It's like a $5 game. I got this actually at a 5 below for me, you know. Um, it's not bad. Dream Trigger 3D. This is kind of like... This is a weird game to explain. Uh, let's see. It... It reminds me a lot of, like, Res or, uh, what's the other one? Every Extend Extra. Like, you know, games like that, uh, it's not bad, but it's not, like, great either. The main issue with this game is that there's not, like, there's not a lot to it, you know? There's just, like, the campaign, or the single player role, and that's it. Uh, here we go, this is the number one. This is Star Fox 64 3D. Uh, this is sealed. The reason why it's sealed is because, uh, so I had a copy of this. This was one of the games that I got with my 3DS when I got it, uh, you know, Christmas that I got it. And, uh, I sold it like an idiot, you know, dumb high schooler. But, uh, I found it, like, at a clearance at that for like 10 bucks on tar at, at a Target a couple years ago. And, uh, for a long time now, though, this has been, like, a $60, $70 game, uh, but now it's going to be dropping back down in price because Nintendo is uh, reprinting this and everything, so it'll be going down in price, which is good, but uh, yeah, I never opened my copy though because it was a little bit of an expensive game. Epic Mickey, The Power of Illusion. This is a 2D platformer. This is fantastic. Uh, really great game. I highly recommend it. I really love the art style of this. This is like, uh, just, this is like, uh, what the console counterparts should have been. It's a little bit slower 
It's a little bit on the slow side, but that's fine. All right, so uh, let's see. Next game up, we have Mario Tennis Open. Uh, this is a weird game, though. Uh, game because like back when I was in high school, all I wanted was Nintendo to make you know like a Mario Tennis game, like Mario Tennis uh, Power Power Smash, or the one on GameCube. I wanted them to like port or make that but on 3DS, and they eventually made it. It was this. Uh, but I never got it. I didn't get this until much, much after release and everything. And but honestly, like this is a really, really great Mario Tennis game. I, I really enjoy this and everything. Uh, I I wish I would have gotten it, you know, at launch. Mega Man Legacy Collection. This is the one with. I have the Amiibo, the Collector's Edition, and everything. I don't really know why I own this. I own, like, the Mega Man Anniversary Collection and everything. Uh, yeah, this is kind of lame. This is, like, just Mega Man 1 through 6. Like, couldn't put, you know, 7 and 8 on there, at least, Capcom. Uh, let's see. We have Fire Emblem Awakening, which I haven't played yet. Uh, I've owned it for, like, two or, for, like, a couple months now. I, I've always wanted to play this, but I haven't, I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, a lot of things have been on my backlog recently, but uh, I have played uh, Fire Emblem Shadows of Valentia Echoes, or is it Echoes Shadows of Valentia? Uh, this is a remake of a Famicom RPG, but I really liked it. Like, uh, I normally, like, remakes of, uh, you know, older, like, really old RPGs, Normally a little sketchy, but this one I think was great. Uh, let's see, they were a little bit experimental with the design in this game. They, they made it to where you could have like dungeons that you could explore and things like that, and I loved it. Uh, yeah, like I really, really enjoyed this game, so really looking forward to playing Awakening eventually. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Like I said in my Kingdom Hearts Retrospective video, I liked this game a lot when I was... Uh, in high school and everything, but nowadays, eh, nowadays it's a little, eh, it's a little meh. It's not bad. It's very impressive for the 3DS, but it's not like great either. Dragon Quest Seven. I uh, haven't gotten around to playing this yet. I let's see. I just got this in like a month ago. Uh, I got this after I beat Dragon Quest Eleven. I was like, yeah, I need to have. Every Dragon Quest game on a handheld. Uh, I don't know why that was my logic. Uh, but I, I haven't gotten around to playing it yet. I've heard it's a really great remake, though. I've been wanting to play that for a while now. Splinter Cell 3D. This is a remake of Splinter Cell Pandora's Tomorrow. Uh, it's actually pretty good. The issue is, like, there's no real camera control. And this is like a PS2 era game, so the camera can be a little janky. Um, but other than that, though, it's like a pretty decent game. It's just got, like, the camera problem. Let's see. Spirit Camera, The Cursed Memoir. Some of you guys might remember uh, my, like, why I'm downsizing my collection video. Uh, a large part of it was because I've never played, you know, this game or a bunch of games. Uh, I still have never played this game, and the main reason why is because it's a horror game that you have to play, like, in the lights and everything. Like, this uses the 3DS's camera and AR and everything, um, and that's the main reason why I've never played it, honestly. Like, I've just never felt like playing a horror game in, you know, the lights and everything. Uh, I've heard it's like super janky though. Uh, still need to check that out. <laughs> Let's see, we have Adventure Time. Uh, hey Ice King, why'd you steal our garbage? This is a pretty much a Zelda 2, like Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link clone. And a really good one at that. I really enjoyed this game. Uh, highly recommend it. It's the better of the two Adventure Time games I own. Let's see, Pac-Man and Galaga Dimensions. This is this is weird because I put a tremendous amount of time into this in high school. And the reason why is because this has a copy or a port of Championship Edition. Pac-Man Champion 
Championship Edition uh, DX. And for those of you who don't know, that's probably like, one of the best games I've ever played. Like, one of the best, like, arcade remixes, remakes, whatever you want to call it, of all time. Just fantastic game. Nano Assault. This is a really fun uh, twin stick shooter. Unfortunately enough, I don't have like a new 3DS XL, so I can't use the uh, C stick. I need to get a new 3DS XL at some point. Um, but yeah, like a uh, really fun game and everything. I just wish I had, you know, the second thumbstick. Metroid Samus Returns this is a fantastic, uh, you know, fantastic 2D platformer. Metroid being a platformer. Great return to like form for the series. Really love this game. Uh, highly recommend it. In my opinion, it was better than the uh, fan remake. Tetris Access. I have put a tremendous amount of time into this game. Like, at one point in time, uh, I think it was like six years ago, I was in like the top 100 like high scores for this game. Uh, yeah, just. I really love this game, I don't know why, uh, I just really love it and everything, it's kind of just Tetris, but I really like Tetris, that's the thing. Mario and Luigi Dream Team, eh, it's okay, um, I don't know, like, I've only ever played Superstar Saga in this one, this was okay, uh, yeah. I need to get the Superstar Saga remake at some point. Rodea the Sky Soldier. I haven't played this yet. I've heard it's. I've heard it's not very. Uh, no, no, no. The 3DS version of this game. I've heard is good. Uh, it's the Pia. It's the Wii version. The Wii U version. That's apparently not very good. Uh, I remember when it was coming out though. There was like a lot of hype behind it because it was like a soul sequel to Nights in the Dreams because uh, Yuji Naka worked on it if I remember correctly. Uh, Ghost Recon Shadow Wars. This is a great turn-based strategy game. And, on top of that, this was a launch game. Uh, this was probably the best game at 3DS launch. Like, 3DS didn't have a great launch. Uh, but I really like the 3DS launch. For what it's worth. Uh, yeah, this is a great turn-based strategy game. Check that game out. Pokemon Rumble Blast. It's kind of a, like, forbidden treat. I don't know. Uh, one of those games that, like, I'm not supposed to like, but I like. Uh, yeah, I really like Pokemon Rumble Blast. Like, it's really simplistic, and it's really basic, but I really enjoy it. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. This is the best version of Ocarina of Time, and probably, you know, the best 3DS game. You know, with I'm counting remakes and things like that. Uh, absolutely stellar. Uh, it's just incredible. I can actually beat the Water Temple now. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Shinobi, this is a 2D platformer. In my opinion, it's way too hard. And the reason why, it's hard not because of design, but it's hard because, uh, so, well, I guess it would be hard because of design and everything, but it's hard because they make you rely on this parry mechanic. So you're supposed to, like, you know, enemies are supposed to attack you and you're supposed to parry it, but, like, the parry is just awful. You have like one frame to parry, and if you don't, then you're taking a hit. This game is just punishingly hard. Uh, it's a lot of fun though. I really recommend it though. Like, it's one of those games that's hard, but you know, you just feel like you can beat it, and every time you get a little bit closer and everything, uh, and it has this sweet lenticular cover. I wish Sega would make more. Like bring back Shinobi, but you know, probably not. Uh, Pokemon X, it's Pokemon X. Uh, not my favorite generation, but really good one. Really enjoyed it. Put a hundred hours into it. Uh, Bravely Second and uh, I I had the first game, and then somebody stole it from me. I still need to get the first one, Bravely Default. Uh, but a great sequel, a great follow up to a great first game. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna try and go through these pretty quick now. The Legend of Korra. Ah, uh, eh, it was a meh, like... God, what was this? Was this, like, a strategy game? Or was this an arc, an action game? I don't remember. It was just very meh. Um, yeah. 
Codename Steam. This is actually like Nintendo's take on Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, and it was okay. It wasn't bad or anything. It was just okay. Like, yeah, I don't know. These next two games are my two favorite games for the 3DS. Uh, so the first one is Rune Factory 4. Absolutely, you know, stellar game. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, you know, I got this... Uh, I got this in 2015, and I didn't play it until, like, three or four months after I got it. Uh, but yeah, like, when I did play it, I, I just got so sucked into it. Absolutely great game. I've played through it, actually, a number of times since then. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the Switch port of this and Rune Factory 5. Uh, I love this series. Rune Factory is so great. And last but not least, um, this is probably my favorite 3DS game. Uh, Kedarakuris Uprising just is just such a fantastic like action game, uh, great comedy and everything. Stuff is falling behind me, uh, but yeah, though I, I absolutely adore this game. I'm just as obsessed with it back as I was back when the game first launched in 2010. All right, so that's my 3DS collection, you guys. I gotta prevent games from falling behind me right now. <laughs> If you guys like this video though, you know, like it down below, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a wonderful day, night, whatever you're watching this, YouTube, and peace.